Isn't it disgusting that it's come to this point? We're now supposed Bible publishers are joining up with the lost world and putting things into wicked magazines just to sell, just to make money. They're talking about demographics and, and groups of people that we haven't marketed things to yet. Isn't that disgusting? And by the way, here again, ChristianBook.com on the very back. I didn't show this on my overhead camera, but I can just say about it here. The, the NIV Veggie Tales Bible. Yeah, it's all about money. That's what the NIV is about. And now they're coming out with their new one being finished this year for the 400th anniversary of the Jesuit Dewey Reams Bible and coming out being released in 2011 on the 400th anniversary of the King James Version. The NIV is a satanic Bible. Okay, it's a satanic book. I don't even want to call it a Bible. All right, it's about money. That's all it is. But let me just read two verses of Scripture to you uh, if you're not aware of these scriptures, Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The King James Version does not need to conform to the world in order to sell. The NIV does, because it's a dead book. The Holy Spirit is not in the pages of this book. The Holy Spirit will bear witness to the King James Bible, as He has done for almost 400 years now. Just about 400 years. We're not quite there yet. But then the other verse, James chapter 4, verse 4. And this is one that if you have this as your guide, it'll save you a lot of trouble as a Christian in this world. It says, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. The NIV is a friend of the world. Okay, Zondervan is a friend of the world. I mean, it's right there. It's scientifically proven right before your face. You know, they're continually bringing out new study Bibles, new editions for the different demographics out there. It's about money. That's all the thing is about. And now they're coming out with another one. Why? Because the sales are starting to drop off again. The King James Bible goes right on. And this will never be topped, by the way. I have one book. I have one source. It's over 6 billion copies. Billion, I said. Not million. Not with an M. With a B. Billion. 6 billion copies of this book sold. Okay, since 1611. And that's sold. We don't even know how many are printed and given out. All right, the King James Bible is never going to be defeated by a satanic book like the NIV. This is the one that you need to go with. This is the one that will lead you into the truth, that will change your life. Okay, and the Lord never needed to come out with all kinds of ridiculous devotional Bibles and stuff like that, editions of the King James Version for it to be a bestseller. This is the world's best-selling book. Well, that, well, that's your opinion. No, it's not my opinion. It's a matter of documented historical fact. This book is the world's best seller ever in the history of man. This is God's book. This ridiculous piece of garbage is not. Okay? Don't use this thing. It will deceive you. It will not lead you into the truth. It's garbage. Thank you for watching.